Hi, I'm George. Let's put some text on this video. Make sure you click on subscribe and also check out my complete training course for Premier Elements. There's a link for that right down there at the top of the description. Now, the first thing you need is to have some video to use as a background. Let's go ahead and play this one here. And I recommend having something that doesn't have too much action or too much motion in that because that will then make it harder to read the text. So you want to have something just kind of basic and easy to watch like we have right there. You also need to have your video clip long enough so that it'll be able to sit behind the text for the whole length of time you want the text to be read or whatever text animation you have. So just keep that in mind. You can always use a still background, of course, that's just fine. But I think having something with some motion in there is real nice. Now there are two ways to add text into Premiere Elements. The first way is the easiest, and that's over here right hand side, that T right there. This is just to add titles or text. You have two options up here, motion titles and classic titles. There's our motion titles and there's our classic titles. And this works fine, but this is going to be placing on a default set of settings for you, which might work out great or might not. It depends on what you're looking for. So I would first recommend going through these, trying these out, see if you like them. Now, one of these, just click on that and run. You can see what the actual animation is right there and see if that will work out for your particular design. On these, you can change the background, so don't worry about that being a purple background. Or if you want to start from scratch, you actually can add text in here without using one of those pre-built templates. And for that, we'll go up here to the text menu right here. And again, you have two options, new text or new motion title. Now, there are three kinds of regular text up here, just the standard text. This is going to be text that you would have for an opening title screen. Now, your roll text is your text that rolls up from the bottom, looks like ending credits in a movie. Crawl text is text that moves across left to right or right to left. You can control the direction on that if you want to. We'll stick here with the default text. We'll look at this one, and we'll also look at a motion title in just a bit. So for your default text, click on that. It brings in a block of text right here. Notice that I can move this around. It's just on its own track. It should go into the next available video track above your video, and it did here. My video is on video one. This is on video two, and then simply slide that over. It comes in right where you have your playhead. So if I had my playhead here, it would come in at that playhead. Now, once you have this, you want to do a little bit of work on this. Obviously, here's our text in the middle. Outside of this, there's this inner line right there. That's your title safe position. And beyond that out here, this is your action safe position. These are here just as reference. You're not going to actually be seeing all that stuff in here. That's just reference for placing your text. Now to edit your text, just go in here, click into the text. You can then select your text like that and then type in whatever you want. I'll just type in, this is my vacation. Now notice how this went to the right. The left letter stayed put and the text went to the right. That's control right over here, right hand side under adjustments. And this is just the same adjustments right here that you'll be using for anything else inside of Premiere Elements. And right here, you have your alignment. Right now this is left align, so the text builds to the right of the left position. You can do center or right align. Notice that this doesn't change my text. Even if I select this like that, if I go center, it doesn't change the position. It will change how it behaves once I begin putting text in. So you may want to come in here and set your alignment ahead of time. Normally I recommend using a center adjustment in here, center text for your text when you're working on a card. Now ours is off center, but that's easy to fix. And that's right down here with these align buttons. Let's come down here, change the mode. This is our text mode. Go right here to the cursor mode, click on that one, click into the text. And notice now we have control handles outside here. When you're in this mode, you can click on this align button and then it aligns the text horizontal on that. This one is aligned vertical. There's that little line in there. And this is aligned horizontal. It's now centered and I have my text here set to center text. So go back here to our text tool and then I do some changes in here. I'll just put in some capital letters, but notice as I do this, it's all now staying centered as I'm doing that. Obviously this text is really hard to read against this background. So let's make some changes on that. Normally thin text is more difficult to read. Thicker text is easier to read. So I'll select all of my text like that. Let's go up here where it says font. Click on this, and here's all the different fonts. Your list will be different from my list. I've added a lot of different fonts onto my computer, but whatever's available on your computer will be available here in the list. And these fonts that are heavier like this, these are gonna be easier to read on a background. So having a nice kind of heavy typeface is a better way to go. Let us see some of our choices. Like that's not too bad, Broadway's okay. I'll just scroll down. That one's not too bad. This Clarendon right there, again, real thick typeface. The real thin ones like this would be very hard to read your thicker faces will be easier to read. I'll leave it at that. Click outside here to close that. It's already set at bold, that's fine. We can change the color, it's still selected. Over here to our color, 
And I can then change the color right here in the color properties. There's black, there's white, that's clear, we don't want that. Or I can choose a color from anything down in here. Just choose your basic color area like that, let's see, right in here. And then come into the color picker area here and move this circle down to where you want. Now the bottom right hand corner, this is full color, full brightness. Full color is on the right hand side and the amount of brightness is up to down. Left hand side is no color and again brightness top to bottom like that. So I'll go for this one, let's move it just a little bit darker I think. Notice how once I have that selected I can then move my color back and forth here and look for a color that shows up well on top of my video. And that's not too bad right in there. You also can put a stroke on this if you want to. I'll leave mine alone. You can do gradients in here. Gradients are better for larger text. Ours is pretty small right now. We can also do a drop shadow, a little drop shadow right there. That often helps to separate out the text from the background and choose OK. Now our text is still pretty small. I'm just going to select that again. And right here, you can choose your text size. Either type in a size, or if I roll over this like that, click on size. Notice I got this hand in here, little double arrows. I can then pull that back and forth to get just the size of text I want. Now notice as I'm pulling this in, the text is dropping a little bit. It's not much, but it's dropping a little bit on the screen. Out here, I'm outside of that text safe area. So I'll stay inside of the text safe area. And let's reset this. I'll go back here to the cursor tool right there. Click on the text and hit this, this will then recenter that for me. Vertical, I'll double check the left and right, that's correct. And the text runs as long as the text bar down here is shown. Click on the play button, and you can see there it is, there's the text running in front of that video. To go back and edit the text some more, just double click on the text line, and it brings back up the adjustments. Now you've only looked at the text so far, there's a lot of other options in here. Our next set here is style, lots of pre-built styles. Notice that these have outlines and drop shadows and things on them. You can go through here and find a style that you like, and there are lots and lots of these. There's a scroll bar right-hand side. Pull that down, an absolute ton of different styles in here. That one's pretty fancy. You just click on that, and there is that style of text. Click on the one right down here. There's that style of text. You will need to go back and reset this if you want to so that it fits properly. We'll do that in just a bit. Just scroll down here. So I want to show you how many of these actually are available. Loads and loads of stuff. Actually, I kind of like that. It almost looks kind of tiki-ish. So I'll go with that one right there. Okay, let's go back here to text and grab our text size. I'm going to pull it down again so I'm staying inside of that text safe area. There we go. So that's text style. You also can animate the text. You can see this by clicking on the arrow. You can watch the animation. There it goes. Just kind of fade in by character right here. Fade in, compress. A lot of options down here. Wipe into center. There we go. So you can see what this will look like out of focus to in focus. That's kind of interesting. To use one of these, just select it, look for that light blue outline, and then come down here, click on Apply, and apply that should work that. Let's see, go back to the beginning, and there it is, there's that effect. Okay, next over here we have shapes. You can come in and put in different shapes. Here's a rectangular tool, or an ellipse tool, or a rounded rectangular tool, or a line tool, and you can change the color on that as well. Let me just do one here. I'm not gonna use this, but I'll show you how this works. You can actually put in a shape like that, and you can place this onto our page. Right now, that's in front of the actual text. So if you right-click on this, come down to Arrange, I can then send this to the back, and put it behind the text. So you can, if you want to, put in something in behind to make your text more legible like that. I'll just hit the Delete key and delete that out of our title. So there we go, that's using just the basic text. Let's now take a quick look at that motion text, which is also kind of fun. I'll click on this and I'll just hit the delete key to delete that line of text. And I'll put this back at the beginning of our video. Okay, text and new motion title right here. There's the motion title. Now this comes in with a few things already set. Here's a main title block. Here's a subtext block right here. Here is a shape. Here's a little bit of text here. There's another shape in behind that. You don't have to keep any of that stuff. There's also a background picture. To edit any of these things, simply click on it, and you can then edit that on the right-hand side. This is basically like we had before. We have our style, format, animation is in there. So I think first I'm gonna get rid of the date. Click on date, hit the delete key. Now this graphic I can't delete, so I'm just gonna pull it off like this. Just grab it and pull it off of the image up here. Pull it down here someplace, let go. Okay, it's now off of the screen. I'm no longer seeing that. Let's click on this shape here. A lot of shapes on our graphics from banner shapes. I'm going to choose just a kind of blue ribbon right here and scroll down, click on apply, and it puts that in. On your main title, same thing again. You can double click on this and then edit your title in here. Let's go over here to style. Let's choose that style right there. A little hard to see that. Let's try this one. That's not too bad. We'll go ahead and we'll stick with that style. Here's format. I can change to any different typeface I want in here. 
coming into format, there we go. And if I have options on that, such as bold and so forth, that'll be here on the right hand side. And I can change my size right here, just like we've done before. I'll just pull this to the right and that changes that size. You can also reposition this by pushing this around. Here we go. So you have some options in there. On the subtext, click on that and you can then change your style in here. Change what it says right up here at the top. I'll set my vacation on that one. Let's change this color in here to white. And let's change that to bold. There we go. Let's change our top title up here. I'll call that one Hawaii. My vacation, that works. Now we still have this background in here in the way. So click on that. And over here on the right hand side, you can change your background image to a transparent, to a color matte background image or a freeze frame taken from your video. You can also do that. And you can adjust the opacity in here once you have that done. I'll just change this here to transparent and hide that background. Now, the nice thing about these motion graphics is that they have animation already built into them. Let's go back here to the beginning, click our play button, and there you go, a little bit of pre-built animation for that motion graphic. There it is. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, and check out my complete training course for Premiere Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description, and I'll see you next time.